Earlier this year, I talked about how a family channel called OK Baby came to an end. Parents of the channel, Oscar and Kira, ended their engagement and announced it in a video in January, and it was rough. The two of them share four children together and have been vlogging for years now. People felt super connected to them, and so they were really hurt to see this happen. Viewers were in complete shock and Kira ended up facing a ton of backlash from viewers who were watching them as she was the one who broke up with Oscar and people really were judging the way she acted in their breakup video. People started shaming her and acting as if they knew everything about their relationship just based on that one video of them. Both of them in their breakup video admitted to wrongdoings in the relationship and said that this was truly for the best for them and for their kids. but. People were having a really hard time believing that and coping with that. And every single time they would post, there would just be a ton of hate comments about Kira. It was also getting hard for them to share their channel and continue posting on OK Baby. At first, they agreed that they would take turns posting on the channel, vlogging the days that they had the kids. But that proved to be too hard because it ended up getting kind of messy. Oscar had even shaded Kira in a thumbnail, and I just think it was proving that they needed to just stick to their own individual channels. Oscar had posted a video titled, Family Pictures Look Better Now, LOL, and then quickly changed it to First Family Pictures as a single dad, but I think this was a very big moment for them in realizing we cannot be on the channel anymore. There's obviously some anger between us. We cannot have the public seeing this and fueling more hate. And from there, they ended up just continuing to post on their individual channels and stop posting on OK Baby entirely. It was really emotional for them to say that goodbye because this channel has been in their life for so long and has done so much for them, but it was very clear that it really couldn't continue any further. There were a lot of rumors also circulating around online about the reasonings behind their breakup, and people were starting to suspect cheating and had been suspicious after seeing a photo go around of with another man shortly after her and Oscar broke up. Except this guy wasn't just some random guy. He was actually one of her friend's fiancés. She used to do a podcast called Beneath the Sheets and her co-host was her friend Hannah. And sometimes Oscar would be on the podcast as well as Hannah's fiance Preston. And people were freaking out at the thought that she would be with her friend's man because the man in this photo is Preston. And it turned into a whole situation. People were saying a lot of crazy things. They were getting very angry about it. They were urging her to come out and address it. They did not want this to be true, but people were wondering why there was a a photo of them together. And at the time she did end up putting a statement out about it, she said on her Instagram story, hearing about a bunch of wildly fun rumors after my breakup is comical. I'm so sorry to anyone who has come across any negative things about me or my family. All I will say regarding this is that some people will do anything in their power to try and bring others down. Be that through rumors, lies, or anything else they can get their hands on. It's not worth my time to defend every single thing said about me, but I will say this, regardless if you wanna believe it or not, I did not and have never cheated on Oscar. I've never cheated on anyone in my entire life. As you can see by my actions, if I'm not happy, I will leave. I will also say what is being said about me on the internet is so far-fetched. Most of it an outright lie and believe it or not, people in my real life are doing well. Who I date, when I date, will never be made public until way down the road. You don't bring them home to mama on the first date. It's ironic how so many people say they are worried for my kids, but the only thing harming or embarrassing them is the drama and rumors that those exact same people are creating and spreading. I am happy, my kids are happy, and I will not let this bring us down. Thank you for the crazy amount of support of messages, comments, and texts I've received over the last little while. I know the sentence is cliche, but I truly mean that it helps way more than you know, and I don't know what I did to get so damn lucky to receive all the love and supporters that our family has. XOXO, topic of your daily drama for the next rest of my public lifetime. For a little while there, the hate was so bad that Kira wasn't really posting on social media, but she did pick back up, and now she's in a regular posting schedule on her YouTube and on her Instagram. But as some time has passed, and it's almost been one year since her and Oscar posted that breakup video, she has now come out and announced that her and Preston are dating. And she's not only addressing that, she's addressing a lot of other rumors that have been swirling around her this past year regarding friendships that she's had in the past, those cheating rumors, and of course, Preston. She posted on her Instagram story saying, 
I'm not going to lie, it's been a rough past few days. My computer has been giving me every problem in the book. I filmed three videos where the lighting is just effed up and almost unusable, still going to upload because I put a ton of work into them and I'm sick of not uploading because of things like this. Hey comments are exhausting as always and even more frustrating when I'm excited to put content out there and get on as soon as I post. Missing my kids so much after having them for nearly three weeks and then having time without them. We all have these days, but damn, it's coming down heavy today. LOL. Let's make this clear. Drama channels, ready? I did not cheat on Oscar. We had a ton of problems behind the scenes and had had a few times prior to this that we almost broke up which also includes him leaving me. Preston did not leave Hannah for me. I'm still friends with Winter. I should have been a better friend to Karen, but unfortunately wasn't the best of communication or understanding the value of friendships at the time. Alyssa and I grew apart. Her addressing her friendships, specifically her friendship with Karen, who is from the family channel KK and Baby J, is certainly a big deal as they kind of grew their channels together and people really wondered what happened between them especially since oscar is still extremely close with karen and her husband kwa he literally spent thanksgiving with them and is always visiting them in florida so her talking about her and karen falling out that's been something that people have always kind of been talking about especially because oscar is so much in their life still i also just feel like that would create a riff between the two of them because he is still friends with her ex-best friend and hanging out spending all that family time together so i was surprised to see her even bring karen up and take accountability for not being a good friend but she continued to talk further about Hannah and said, Hannah and I are no longer friends, although I truly love her and think she's one of the best people to ever walk this planet. My breakup video is a very, very hard video for me because I was trying to cover all the emotions I was feeling by not feeling and laughing. And by doing so, it was appearing heartless and truthfully just overall horrible, which I do 100% believe is not an accurate representation of my character. And I'm sorry for those of you that it hurt. I am dating Preston and we have been seeing each other since March of this year. Sometimes friends that are there for you in tough situations turn into more. I will not share details of my dating life currently online because although I owe you guys explanations, my content is about my kids and Oscar and I. Being vulnerable online is not what it used to be and sharing my dating and mental health is not something I feel the safest doing at this point in my life. Not to say I never will, but just speaking in the present. I'm sorry for those I've hurt. Truthfully, I've grown and learned a lot as any 25, 26 year old would. I don't regret most of my choices, but there are some I wish I handled better online. Thank you for those that have supported. It really doesn't go unnoticed. It just sometimes really hurts to see the wrong and mean, and it comes off louder. Now, can we please move on? It's been a year. I think everyone's hearts involved are very much ready. She ended her Instagram stories by talking once again about her and Oscar and said this. I didn't leave Oscar because he was a bad person. He was and is such an amazing individual. We are just on different pages in life and it makes me so happy to see him fully living his best life, which I hands down know he wouldn't have been able to do with me. I know it seems obvious, but don't forget the internet is just that, the internet. It's crazy to see how it's all unfolded for these two over the years and the fact that Kira is even addressing any of this. I really didn't think that she was ever going to be talking about her and Oscar, her and Preston, her and Karen especially, her other friendships. I mean, this is definitely wild. And I mean, these two have been online since they were teenagers. And I also just feel like people can't be that surprised that things have happened over the years, both good and bad. Obviously, there's things that have happened that aren't good and it's been messy. A lot of college-like drama, that's what it feels like. With the whole, I'm with my friend's former man and my ex is friends with my ex-best friend, it's giving very college drama. But at the same time, they're technically at the age of those in college or just getting out of college. But obviously, people have a higher expectation for them and hope for them because of the fact that they do have four kids together. And also because they shared their lives online. And I think fans also feel hurt in a way because they feel this connection to people that they're watching online and i think that's one of the hardest parts about not only sharing your life online but sharing a family channel online where you're literally showing people this very vulnerable personal side of your entire family and when all these people are viewing that and they're viewing you in this wholesome fun loving way and then all these bad things happen they're like what 
oh my god, like, you're not who I thought you were at all. And then people get judgy and it's, it's, it's bad. And it's the risk you take when you put so much onto the internet. And I think that Kira and Oscar have really realized how much they did share with people online and are really trying to be a little bit more reserved in maybe their dating life, their personal life. They're obviously still showing their kids and their family aspects, but we're obviously seeing Kira say that she wants to keep a lot of her dating life more personal, more to herself. The two of them only really want to be showing like happy moments. Probably as a result of all of this, they probably like learned their lesson of like, whoa, we cannot be sharing all that because it comes with a lot. As someone who once watched these people a very long time ago when they like first made their channel, this is just, it's wild to see how it all has unfolded. But as of right now, that's what's going on with this family and what Kira had to say in reference to all the rumors that have swirled around this entire year. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.